sitting outside of Costco and it's raining unfortunately but I am getting ready to go in and just do a quick haul we are having people over tomorrow night for dinner so I need to get a few things for that and then I'm just gonna grab a few other odds and ends so I thought that I would bring you along with me do a little shop with me and then I'll show you the um, haul once I get home this won't be like what we always buy here but I'm gonna try to grab a few things so I just figured it might be fun to do my first little shop with me. I have no kids with me right now. So I'm just gonna, you know, act like this is a vacation. incredibly soft like ridiculously soft they're on sale for $7.99 right now I think I'm gonna grab at least one for McKinley possibly two so I really I like this color this is fun but she really likes gray so I might grab a gray one as well they're super cute super soft This is a must purchase every time I come to Costco. This butter cinnamon sugar bread. I mean, I'm sure it's so packed full of sugar and calories, but it's so good. And I like to put aluminum foil around the other two loaves and put those in the freezer. And then I can pull it out weekly. This is the only part of Costco that I hate because it's so flipping cold in here. are these little applesauce pouches, $9.99 and you get 24 pouches. My kids love these and we fly through them. Okay, so I just got out of Costco. I ended up only spending $209, which was a little bit more than I anticipated going in because I knew I was only grabbing a few small things, but Costco always reels you in in some way. It is gross outside. I always hate grocery shopping on rainy days, but I am going to do a click list for the rest of the, th the things that I need from Kroger this week. Um, I'm not even going to deal with walking in the grocery store but I'm gonna run these home really quick. So while I was in Costco, my husband sent me these videos with the caption, when mom's away, dot, dot, dot. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. They had fun with daddy for sure, and they were crazy, but <laughs> it's just so funny. Look, I mean, they're all three riding on one hoverboard. My oldest said that it was really hard to, um, make it go the direction he wanted it to go because he could only use his toes. It's hilarious. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I didn't get a chance to do my haul last night because I had a meeting to go to and my son had basketball practice, but this is an overview of what I got and then the drinks that I got are still out in the garage. So I will put those at the end of this video. But um, this is our Costco haul. It was a quick one. It's not all of our normal staples but we spent $209, so I thought I would go through what we got really quick. I got, um, starting off, a gallon of milk. I don't normally buy Costco milk, but we needed milk and I was there. And then I got um, this box of Premier Protein. My husband likes to put that in like his smoothies in the morning. And this was actually $5 off this month, so I went ahead and grabbed the box. 
Um, I got more applesauce pouches for Grant and Davis. This is a staple. And the best place that, to get them, I feel like, is Costco in ter terms of price. We've already broken into some of this. I got mini wheats. All my kids like mini wheats, and we needed cereal for this morning, so it's broken into. And then over here, I got an assortment of buns. I got hamburger buns, hot dog buns, and then like deli style sandwich buns. We are having people over tonight and Sunday, as long as the weather doesn't get too bad. And tonight we're um, doing hamburgers and hot dogs. And on Sunday we're doing subs. So I went ahead and grabbed buns for that. I got goldfish, already broken into. And then I got a thing of strawberries, which we've already been eating out of. And then I love to get this cheese. Um, it is just like the cheddar cheese and they're already pre-sliced. And what I normally do is I take half and put it in the freezer and then use the half. It's like seven, I wanna say 7.49 for that. So it's a good price. Um, come back around here. And then no Costco trip is complete. Sorry about that light. Without the butter, cinnamon, sugar bread. Um, this stuff is a staple. Um, I got a big thing of hot dogs. We like this Hebrew National brand that they have at Costco. And then I got this big thing of ground beef. I haven't got this ground beef um, package like this before, but I really like it. It's already like individually, like kind of like sectioned. So I feel like it'll be easier for freezing. So I grabbed that. And then I got these, we always keep these on hand. It's just their frozen ground patties. These are super simple because you don't have to thaw them before you cook them. So you can just pop it out of the, pop it out of the, um, freezer and put on the grill and they're delicious and then we got a rotisserie chicken we always get that we usually eat half for a dinner and then we like slice the other half for like deli meat for the week my husband's already dug into that as well he was apparently hungry last night and then I like to keep these potato skins on hand I personally like them and then I like to pull those out if we need to have appetizers or something for people who are coming over um, they had this big box of non-slip hangers for $9.99 so I went ahead and grabbed those. My husband prefers those for his shirts. I think that they're, they are annoying to hang clothes on, but they do hang better. So I thought that was a good price for 50 of them. And then they had some sales on their clothes. Um, I actually ended up getting my daughter two of these. She's wearing one today, but this little jacket is so soft. The other one that I got is like a, um, kind of like a burgundy color, but these were $7 and they are so soft. And then I got this for myself just looks like that and it was also seven dollars so I thought that, that would be a good throw on sweatshirt because mom life I rarely ever get dressed up so that's what I got plus the drinks that I'm going to show you at the end of this video video um this includes some of our normal staples and then some things that I don't always buy but just a quick little haul I also got Sunny D my son loves to take those in his lunchbox and then um Nick and Caleb both love these um Kirkland brand um drinks they have raspberry green tea um dragon fruit tropical mango and blueberry pomegranate hey guys so i just got back from like a morning of shopping with the little ones we um originally just went into where'd we go big lots we went into big lots for really no rhyme or reason i was just trying to kill some time between preschool drop off and pick up and we're still killing time because I still have an hour before pickup, but we're back home and the kids are eating lunch. And um, anyways, we went into Big Lots and then we went into Hobby Lobby and then to Goodwill. So I figured um, since I kind of started this video with a Costco haul, that this will just be like a haul in general because um, I don't do a lot of shopping. So I figured since I did so much in one day, we'll just kind of show you everything I got. So I'm gonna start with Goodwill. I went into Goodwill originally. We have a buffet in my dining room. I'll show you it in a minute. And I was looking for like some type of round mirror or a large round centerpiece of some sort. We have a lot of um, like rectangular shapes in my dining room and I need something circular to kind of like break that up. I had zero luck there. They did not have what I was looking for, unfortunately. But I did find this lampshade. It's just gray, plain. It's like brand new and it was $4. So I went ahead and grabbed this. The lamp that I previously bought at Goodwill, um, I'm not a huge fan of the lamp shade on that lamp. So I think this one will fit it better. It's not as large and this gray color will actually go in my son's room. 
my oldest son, since I have four of them. Anyways, it'll go in my nine-year-old's room really, really well. So I figured I would just use that lamp that I bought the last time at Goodwill. I've spray painted it white with this lamp in his room. Um, if I get around to putting everything where it goes today, I'll go ahead and show you where I put things before I end this video. Um, not sure if I'll get around to it or not, but if I do, we will show. Um, next, I'm going to show you the big lot stuff. Also, I am wearing my Costco shirt that I got. I am obsessed with it. It's so comfortable. It has this cute little like neckline and then it's longer. It covers my booty. I really, really like it. It's super comfortable and it was only $8, which is great. But um, back to the haul. Let's see here. Get the camera back where it goes. All right, so I went into Big Lots, like I said, for no rhyme or reason, but I remembered that their um, accent pillows are generally like a good price. So I went there and started looking. I need accent pillows for my front formal living room. And I found, I found some. So this pillow, it's kind of like a burlap. It is supposed to have a button um, and it, it doesn't. So the second pillow, just like it, also does not have the button. Not that big of a deal, but I did ask at the cash um, register if I could have a discount since it was missing the button. And then these were originally $14 a piece and the manager gave them to me for $7 a piece. So I was super happy with that price. And then I just got two of these. They're so soft to go together. I'm obsessed. These were $12 a piece, um, which was about typical of all the pillows in Big Lots. They were either 12 or 14, but I was happy with that. So got at Big Lots, two of these hanging planters. Um, I will show you what I'm thinking I'm gonna do with these. Here in a minute but I got two of these these were seven dollars a piece they're just like the galvanized metal and then I got these hanging signs um, this is what they are it's two signs one says um, it says grateful hearts gather here so it's just two side by sides and I was kind of thinking that I could actually put these side by side and then put these hanging beside of those with some plants. We'll see if it looks right, but that is my plan. Um, these were, it was two of these for $15. The last things that I bought at Big Lots, they're all wrapped up because they're glass. I bought two of these little vases. Super cute. Um, it's kind of like a, kind of like a mintish teal color. And I'm gonna put some little plants in these, but I got two of these. So I'm trying to do something on my buffet table and I needed it to be symmetric. So, Mysteries. These were um, seven dollars a piece, so they're super cute, just like little fillers. Got those at Big Lots, and then on to Hobby Lobby. So, in my defense, I only walked into Hobby Lobby to get plants um, for those two little vases and for the hanging planters. So that was the only reason I went in there. So I got a few different types of plants. I bought four of these and they were 50% off today. And then I bought two of these and they were also 50% off today. So all in all for all these plants, I think I spent like maybe $12, but that's why I went into Hobby Lobby. And then Hobby Lobby, as it always does, ropes you into other things, but they had a 75. 75% off aisle today. And of course, when they have that, you have to go look. And I feel like I scored. Um, 
So even though I didn't originally go in there thinking I was going to spend this extra money, I'm very happy with what I found because it was 75% off and it was such a great price. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to pick up the camera to actually show you these. Right, so I found these lamps, two of them. They were $19 a piece. And you can't really tell with this lighting, but this is not black. This is like a navy. Um, and it's kind of like, you can see through it. So I'm very happy with those. Um, my goal with these lamps is this buffet table right here. I'm gonna put a lamp on each end. Um, and then I think I'm gonna use those little bases from Big Lots and put those there as well. And then I went into Goodwill looking for something circular to put in the middle of this. So I haven't found that yet, but I'm excited to see if I like the lamps and stuff on this buffet table. So I'm going to try that right now. Okay, so the little things didn't fit right beside the lamps like I was hoping with the plants in them, but I'm kind of liking this. Um, I used those little navy trays from my Target haul from the other day, and like I said, right here in the center, I need something like circular. Because if you look, it's like rectangle, rectangle, and I need something circular. But I feel like those lamps actually look really good there, um, and I like the little fillers. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep it. Okay, so also in my dining room, let's see here. I have this wall right here that needs some type of decor on it. So this is where I'm thinking those canvases and hanging lanterns could go. And this is my general idea of how that would look. And I'm thinking that would work perfectly fine, just executed up on that wall. So I really like the details of this. It looks very rustic, like a faux wood. And I love the font they used. And then these little hanging baskets are super cute. So I think I'm gonna have my husband put that here. I think it'll look really good in here. Okay, so I have the pillows in this front room. And I really like them together. I just like all the different textures. I think all the textures look good together. So this room is slowly making some progress. I think I have an idea for above this wall. Um, I'm gonna think on it a little bit before I actually execute it. But we also have this colored chair over here and I'm not sure if it's staying in this room or not, but these pillows like don't clash with it. So that's what I was going for. I like them. So I spent, let's see here, like less than $40 on four pillows, which I feel like is a good price. All right, so there's the Goodwill lamp that I bought last time with the new gray um, lampshade, and I think that looks much better. Um, this isn't styled, but I just stuck it in my son's room really quick. So his room is kind of like a royal blue and then gray, so it matches. I also thought that I would go ahead and show you how I used a few of those um, past haul pieces. So I found this platter at Goodwill, um, and I think I actually did an Insta story haul and not a YouTube video, but I found this um, one day they had everything 50% off and it's actually like a pizza, like baking pan, but I like it for decor. So I used it there as a little tray on this table. We used to have a TV here, 
Um, and we're going to end up putting a TV back here, but Nick and I stole it and took it to our room for the time being. So I just put some decor here so it doesn't look so silly. And then this is actually that little thing that I found in the Target dollar spot the other day. And I just took the lid off and put it underneath it. And then just some of the Hobby Lobby lamps that I bought today. So I thought that was cute on that table. I'll back up so you can see it. It's cute. I don't have anything above there because like I said, we usually have a TV here. So once I put the TV back there, I may just move this whole centerpiece to this table. We'll see. That's something I could stick anywhere, but I like that. So I hope you all enjoyed that like random shop with me slash kind of decorate with me. Um, my mind is spinning right now on a middle piece for that buffet. Um, when I was at Hobby Lobby today, I actually saw some like cool like arched mirror frames. So I might do that. I might go back and spend the money on it. I'm trying to decide. Or my mother-in-law sent me like a, a piece that she has at her house. Um, she sent a picture to me that I could redo and use. Um, it's just a matter of if it's wide enough and whether or not I want to take on a project. But um, it's coming along. This house has <laughs> has just like been transformed already, but it's still like a slow process. I really wish that I would have been vlogging when we first walked or moved in here so you guys could have seen like all of the before and afters like take place. But I'll I'll eventually do like a um a house tour slash like insert some before pictures, etc. But um right now I'm procrastinating. It's quiet time and I just ate some lunch and we have friends coming over at like six o'clock and I don't know if you can tell in the background, but my house is a mess right now, like an absolute mess. And I really need to get off my butt and I need to clean and I need to pay some bills and I need to finish my click, li click list so I don't have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. But instead I've been sitting here editing this video and just relaxing, so it'll get done. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let me know if you like seeing hauls or if you like seeing like shop with me's. Generally when I'm shopping, if I have the kids with me, I don't have my phone because Davis is playing on it and I don't have a vlogging camera. I just record everything on my iPhone right now. So if you do like that though, I can try to put that in more. Um, I'll be sure to show you once Nick actually hangs the stuff from Big Lots today on my dining room wall. So I'll show you that in the next video. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, I will see you on the next video.